uh, that absolutely shocked me. This is a true story. Apparently, this holiday season, uh, there's been a rash of thefts of nativity scene figures. It's actually, yeah, a lot of stories about these are <laughs> real stories about people stealing nativity scene figures. I didn't realize it was such a big problem. It's oh, it is a huge problem. And in fact, it's the subject of my latest Shame Blamers investigative report. Well, latest, you've never done a Shame Blamers <laughs> investigative report. The traditional nativity scene. <laughs> to some, a symbol of the miracle of Christmas. But to the criminal underworld, it's just an easy target. <laughs> I'm talking about the latest threat to your Merry Christmas. Nativity scene chop shops. My Shame Blamers team filed this investigative report. Through their vast network of thieves, these chop shops are looting nativity scenes, stripping them for parts, and reselling them for a quick buck. Some might say it's a crime worse than murder. Meet one of their victims. Every morning, the first thing I do is get up and clean my nativity scene. But this morning, I went out there, and my little baby Jesus was gone. Some criminal must have stolen him in the middle of the night while I was sleeping. I just want to know where my little baby Jesus is. It probably ended up at a place like this. This legitimate looking business is actually a front. Here, nativity scenes are stripped down, resold as knockoff versions of popular holiday toys like Harry Potter and G.I. Joe action figures. So how do these nativity scene chop shops operate? We brought our shame blamers crew to find out. Well, nobody's here, we did our best. <laughs> it was clear these criminal masterminds weren't gonna make this easy for us, so it was time for plan B. <laughs> I rigged this nativity scene camel with a tiny hidden surveillance camera. Once they took the bait, we got an inside view of their illegal operation. What we found may shock you. <laughs> rows upon rows of spare parts ready for resale. Chop shop employees forced to work under constant watch and inhumane conditions. And around the clock assembly line of cheap knockoff holiday toys. We had all the evidence we needed to bust their operation wide open. But when we arrived the next day, our chop shop was already long gone. And in its place was this water park. Oh, wait, let's hear what happened to this lady. I bought my little boy one of those robots that turns into cars and trucks and such. Well, when I got it home, my heart nearly burst. My name is Optimus Prime. My name is Optimus Prime. My name is Optimus Prime. Shameful. Well, there you have it, Conan. Back to you. All right, that was an incredibly odd story, Andy. <laughs> well, to be honest, most of it was made up. <laughs> I... I really enjoy camera time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Andy Richter. We'll take